local expectations? Yes, well, the Chinese president certainly are packing a lot into his four-day visit. All up, we're expecting, as we heard earlier, a whopping 150 deals to be penned during this trip. They're estimated to be worth more than 46 billion US dollars. One of the big ticket items you just mentioned there, the first nuclear power plant to be built in the UK in a generation. It's likely to be constructed at Hinkley Point, Somerset, that's in England, southwest, and to open by 2025. Now, China is likely to cover somewhere between 30 uh, and 40 percent of the cost and this will be the largest inward investment ever in the UK. It was secured uh, as we just heard when Chancellor George Osborne visited China last month. Uh, the site though has come under some scrutiny over its cost and also the delays to investment decisions and also a timetable for the building. Now, another mammoth investment includes a high-speed rail project which will link uh, the capital with the northern cities of Birmingham, Leeds and Manchester. Uh, experts, though, they're a little wary in uh, predicting success for China's drive in Europe. They've actually expressed some doubt over a bright future for uh, China's high-speed railway, saying that Europe uh, will likely protect its market. We already know that uh, Germany's Siemens and France's Alstom also plan to bid for this HS2. For sure. Now, it's no surprise that Britain chose this time, Xi's visit, to unveil the details of an easier tourist visa. So what does it mean for the UK and how does it work? Yeah, well, as you say, an aptly timed announcement from the British government. Of course, all part of a plan to encourage big spending Chinese to splurge their tourist dollars right here in the UK as a, a sweetener or a two-year multiple entry visa has now been uh, will be introduced in January rather uh, before these changes were brought in Chinese visitors were issued with a six-month tourist visa that would cost around about hundred and thirty dollars now they're going to get much more bang for their buck there they can be issued with a two-year visa for the same price and that means they'll be able to come and go as many times as they like over that period without uh, needing to do any fresh paperwork uh, experts say Chinese middle class are really becoming a major consumption force in China and that they're absolutely fascinating fascinated by British products, especially um, from the heritage range, brands like uh, Alexander McQueen, Vivian Westwood, Burberry, and that means a big boost for the UK's retail sector. Uh, the latest figures show the number of Chinese tourists visiting Britain has more than doubled over the past five years. Uh, on average, they spend close to £3,000 each. While they're here, that adds up to a £500 million top-up annually to the economy. So you can really see why the British government's so keen to ma really make it easier for more Chinese tourists to travel here. For sure, £3,000. That's, uh, that's a few Burberry trench coats. Anyway, uh, I was talking about uh, Britain and China extending and also increasing the size of their currency swap deal. So tell us more about that. Yes, well, uh, the People's Bank of China says this renewed deal will see the swap line enlarge from 200 billion yuan to 350 billion yuan. It's going to provide liquidity for the renminbi market in London and also help finance bilateral trade and investment deals. Uh, the Bank of England says that uh, this increase really reflects the continuing growth of the renminbi trading in London and the PBOC has suggested that the deal could be renewed. We did hear that a little earlier, uh, of course, in the future. Now we know that China has made uh, efforts to really promote as an international currency uh, and London is also keen to attract Chinese banks and also encourage offshore trade in the yuan which would bolster its position as a non-Asian yuan trading centre. Thank you so much for your comments and your time. Kerry Blackensop joining us live out of London.